Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. It is Monday, so it is another meal prep day. I am still without a functioning oven. We have the repair people coming later this week. So hopefully by next week's meal prep, I'll have an oven back in full working condition. So we're making some adjustments. We're going to do an air fryer recipe, a stovetop recipe and a slow cooker recipe. That way we can still make three delicious meals for the week, stay on track, and even do it without a working oven. So I'm excited for today's recipes. They're going to be absolutely incredible, delicious, and easy, which speaks right to my heart. So if you're excited for today's video, please give it a big, huge thumbs up. It means a lot to me, and of course, it just really, really helps out my channel. And if you're new or you're not yet subscribed, take a moment, hit the little subscribe button and the bell next to it. I'd absolutely love to have you here on my channel. It's a pretty darn fun place to be. Don't forget to check out that description box down below for my custom 2021 calendar. It's not too late to get your hands on one of those. I'm shipping same day, so you'll have it within a few days and you can start tracking your healthy goals for the new year. You'll also find my nutrition coaching website where I offer personalized macros and calories for you based on you. So you know what you should be eating every day for maximum results. You'll also find 30 and 60 minute coaching sessions if you need a little bit more one-on-one -on -one support. Links, discount codes to everything I shared with you in today's video, as well as all of my other favorite things are also down in that description box. And last but not least is my Facebook group. We would absolutely love to have you join us over there. Lots of fun things coming your way in the new year. So head on over and join us on Facebook. So we have three delicious WW calorie friendly recipes. So let's get started. week's breakfast, I'm making breakfast biscuit bombs. I saw tons of recipes called breakfast bombs, but I made this one up myself because I want it to really fit into my points and my calories. So this is a calorie friendly, WW friendly breakfast bomb. It's gonna be amazing. We're gonna cook it in our air fryer so it's nice and crispy. So here's what's in my recipe. So I decided to use the Bisquick Heart Smart Baking Mix. I have this on hand anyways. And as far as points, calories go, it was either this or two ingredient dough. And since I already had this on hand, I decided to use that. For my cheese, I'm just gonna use Laughing Cow because it's only one point per wedge. So it'll keep it this nice and cheesy, but the points low. For sausage, I'm using the Jones All Natural Turkey Sausage. You can have four links for two points. So again, really low in point. Of course, we'll do some eggs in there and some pepper as well as some salt. So let's make some breakfast. I and sprayed my pan with some non-stick cooking spray, added two eggs. I'm going to add a bit of salt and pepper and I'm going to scramble these eggs up set them aside so let's put together the biscuit dough for the biscuits it's very simple i have one cup of the bisquick heart healthy mix i added that to a bowl i'm going to add water until this makes dough consistency so i'll just start kind of little by little with the water mix that together until it forms a dough you can also use milk if you would like just make sure that if you use regular milk or even low fat milk that you account for that in the points but i'm not going to use any milk I think water is going to be just fine. So my dough is good to go. I'm just going to set this aside and chop up my sausages. So now I'm going to actually make the dough balls. So this dough makes five bombs total. So I just wanna make sure that the amount that I take is pretty even to make five balls. Now, if your dough is sticky like mine, you can go ahead and spray your hands or the dough with some nonstick cooking spray and that will help. So go ahead and form five dough balls. I'm gonna show you how to put together the breakfast bomb. So you have one fifth of your dough. I'm actually just going to put my Laughing Cow cheese wedge in the middle and just kind of press it down. I'm going to add two sausage links per bomb. And again, just kind of press that down. As you saw, I cut each sausage link into six pieces. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of egg as well to the center of each bomb. Now these two eggs go across 
cost five breakfast bombs. So make sure you save enough for each one. And then we're just going to roll this up. So take that dough. I did spray my parchment here with some nonstick cooking spray. That way the dough didn't stick. So take the dough and roll it up around all of your filling. And that's actually going to create your breakfast bomb. And it's going to have all of that deliciousness right inside. So I'm going to make five of these and then we'll get them ready to go into the air fryer. So I actually only ended up with four breakfast bombs. So I will be calculating points and calories based on four. I did put them in the drawer of my small Copper Chef air fryer, sprayed them with some nonstick cooking spray. Let's get these guys air frying. So I'm going to go ahead and set this for 20 minutes. I will watch it of course and let's put it up to 400. I cook everything on 400. Again, this is my Copper Chef air fryer. I'll link it down below for you guys, but let's air fry these up and see how they turn out. I'm hoping this isn't a complete fail. My bombs are done. These actually turned out really good. So I'm just going to set them here on a trivet to cool a couple of minutes. We'll pop them out of the air fryer basket. I'll show you what they look like, what I'm going to pair them with and give you points and calories. So here are the breakfast bombs. They actually turned out really well. I noticed when I took them out of the air fryer that they are still a bit doughy in the middle. Not a problem for me because I'm going to heat them up in the air fryer to eat them. I want them to maintain their crispiness. So that will finish cooking them through. Just be mindful of your temperature. I think if you cook them longer at a lower temperature, if you wanted to eat them today, then it would allow them to cook all the way through. But it made four breakfast bombs. I do have my pomelo here from Trader Joe's. It's finely ripe enough. I'm going to peel it and section that out. And then I have my two organic mangoes. These are ripened finely as well. I'll go ahead and cut those up and have that as a side with the breakfast bombs. So just some fruit and a breakfast bomb. So the bombs made four total. They are six smart points on both blue and purple and seven on green just because of the egg. 193 calories a piece and honestly a good amount of protein between the cheese, the egg, and the sausage. So I'll definitely have this recipe on my website for you to recreate. These look actually really delicious. So I'll, again, we'll just pair those with some fruit for the week. For my lunch this week, I'm making a cheesy chicken orzo. I have not had orzo in forever and I actually really enjoy it. It's a type of pasta. So we're gonna pair that with some chicken and some cheese and some spinach for some greens. It's going to be hearty and absolutely delicious and really, really low point and calorie for a lunch. So what's in it is some spinach. You'll need about two cups of fresh spinach garlic salt, Italian seasoning, and paprika, as well as some salt and pepper. Those are your main seasonings. Light shredded cheese, chicken breast. This is from my butcher box. So you guys know I absolutely love butcher box. I very rarely order chicken. I generally just order red meat because I can't find grass fed, grass finished red meat in my area. But this last time I ordered chicken, you guys, it is the best chicken we have ever had. It is juicy and moist and flavorful. So highly, highly, highly recommend Butcher Box when it comes to chicken as well as your red meat. I will link this down below for you guys with $30 off your first box. So if you are looking for grass fed, grass finished quality meat, Butcher Box is where it's at. I, I really cannot believe how delicious the chicken is. So I can't wait to use that in today's recipe. Dijon mustard, Orzo, so this is what orzo looks like. It looks like little kernels of rice, but it's actual pasta. You'll need oil and 1% or low fat milk and then some light butter. So let's get started on lunch. In a large stock pot or Dutch oven, go ahead and add one tablespoon of oil. Let that warm up till it's nice and hot. To the pot, we're going to add in chicken. I went ahead and just diced up those couple of Butcher Box chicken breasts. I'm also going to add all of my seasoning, starting with some paprika. And again, season to your liking. We like our food very seasoned, so I'm going to over season a bit. Some Italian seasoning. This is one of my very, very favorite seasonings ever. And then we're going to add in a little bit of garlic salt. Not too much because we're going to add regular salt as well. So some regular salt 
and some pepper, and then we're going to allow the chicken to cook completely through. Once your chicken is cooked through, we're going to go ahead and add it to a bowl and set it aside because we need to cook up the orzo. To that same pot that I removed the chicken from, here is the chicken. It's just going to set aside and cool. I have about eight cups of water coming to a boil, and then I'm going to go ahead and stir in the orzo and let it cook until the orzo is completely softened. Orzo is done. I'm going to go ahead and drain it, rinse it, and we'll get back to putting together our pasta. Orzo is back in the pot with one half of a cup of low fat milk, one cup of light shredded cheese, one teaspoon Dijon mustard, two tablespoons light butter, and we are going to stir continuously until the cheese is melted and everything is combined really well. I added the entire bag of spinach and I'm just going to let the spinach wilt. It will just take a couple of minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop my lid back on and let that spinach wilt. I can't believe how delicious this looks. You guys, this is gonna be such an excellent lunch. So I'm going to add back in the cooked chicken, stir that in with that cheesy orzo. You can just see how cheesy that is. Look at that. Oh, it's gonna be so delicious. And it already has your veggie, your protein, and your carb all in your lunch. And I'll probably just pair this with some fruit, or maybe I'll just have something small for dessert with it, but it is like cheesy, Goodness, oh, yum. So I get the question a lot on how do I know how much is a serving? So I've shown this before on my channel, but I thought I would show you guys again. So what I have here is my food scale. I have the Red Rock. I love this scale. I will make sure that I link it down below for you. And I just added a bowl to my scale and zeroed it out. So from here, I'm actually going to add in my pasta and it is adding it up in grams you could do ounces grams whatever your preference is i like to do grams so it's adding it up as i put the pasta into the bowl so you can see that the entire batch weighs 1409 or 10 depending on the second gram so that is the entire batch of the pasta this recipe makes four servings so what i would do is take that 1409 grams divide that by four and that is the number of grams per serving so that's exactly what i'm going to do divide that out put that amount in each of my meal prep containers so it's 352.25 grams per serving so that is how much is going to go into each of my meal prep containers so there's 326 grams one fourth of the pasta so i'm just going to finish doing that exact same thing into three additional bowls and i'll be back to share points and calories so here is the chicken and orzo pasta weighed out into four bowls for meal prep it is five points per serving on blue and purple and seven points on green just because you do have to count a little bit for that chicken now if you used a whole wheat orzo it would be zero points for the pasta on purple so that would definitely knock down the points a little bit because the majority of your points are coming from the pasta and the little bit of cheese that's in the recipe so it is five points for me 292 calories you guys i can't wait for this i tasted just a little bit it is creamy it tastes like alfredo i yeah this is going to be such a fantastic comfort filling lunch This is a hungry girl slow cooker dessert recipe. It is a tropical dump cake. Now I do not have any coconut extract, so that will be missing, but other than that, here's what's in our recipe. So you'll need some frozen pineapples and frozen mangoes. You could put coconut flakes in there in lieu of coconut extract. Just make sure you recalculate the points, but I think it's going to be just fine with just the pineapple in the mango. You'll also need some yellow cake mix. Now you can use sugar-free. It will lower the points. So at the end, I will share the points using regular cake mix and sugar-free cake mix. But as you know, I don't eat sugar-free, so I'm just going to use regular cake mix. 
unsweetened applesauce, cornstarch, and sweetener alternative of your choice. This is just the Lakanto monk fruit. So let's get this dump cake in the crock pot. So the first thing I did is added a crock pot liner to my crock pot. I just think that it makes cleanup a lot easier. I'm also going to give it a quick spray with some nonstick cooking spray. I just used the Chosen Foods avocado oil. The first thing we're going to do is add in our fruit. So I'm going to put in my entire bag of frozen pineapple. These are just the pineapple tidbits from Trader Joe's. And then a bag of frozen organic mangoes, also from Trader Joe's. I am kind of trying to break up the fruit as I add it to the slow cooker. And then we're going to put in three packets worth of our sweetener. So I'm going to do about a tablespoon. We're going to give that a stir to mix the fruit up really well with the sweetener. Now I'm going to add in one and a half tablespoons of cornstarch. Give that another quick stir. And then we're going to actually make the cake batter portion of the dump cake. For the cake portion, I have one and three quarter cup of the yellow cake mix and one half of a cup of unsweetened applesauce. That essentially serves as the oil in the cake recipe. I'm going to stir this together until combined. This is also the stage that you would add in the coconut extract if you were using that. Here is what the cake mix looks like. So it's wet just like a dough would be. And then we're actually going to drop this onto the fruit and then do your best just to spread it out as even as you can right over the top of the fruit. We are going to put on our lid and actually cook this on high heat for about three hours or until the topping is brown and nice and cooked through and firm. Three hours later. Time is up on the Hungry Girl dump cake. Oh wow, this looks and this smells absolutely delicious. This entire crock pot only makes eight servings. So I'm going to allow it to rest for just a couple of minutes and then we'll divide it out into eight servings. This looks incredible and my house smells like a tropical vacation. So I went ahead and packaged up the dump cake. I did have about three quarters of a serving for dessert with lunch today. So the dump cake actually makes eight servings and one eighth of the recipe is six smart points on all plans 188 calories now if you decided to drop out the regular cake mix and sub in a sugar-free cake mix you can knock the points in half and it would be three smart points for one eighth of the recipe but again i just use the regular cake mix let me just tell you this is incredible even without that coconut extract absolutely incredible so that is the 188 calorie six smart point dump cake. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW meal prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. I can't wait to have these for breakfast, lunch, and dessert this entire next week. I'm pretty darn excited. You will find all of these recipes on my recipe website, which is down in the description box, along with my calendar, nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and my Facebook group. So definitely take a moment and click that little down arrow right over there under the video so you can access the description box. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And of course, if you're watching and you're not subscribed or you're new, welcome, welcome. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell is turned on so you don't miss a single video. I do upload about five to six days a week, so you don't want to miss out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Monday, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!